Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down, and uh, today we're looking at a beer that claims to be the worst. Uh, yeah, so this might be my last time out on the deck doing a deck beer video. I don't know. Uh, it's like 16 degrees, 17 degrees out Celsius on a beautiful mid-October day. That'd be like around 60 Fahrenheit, I think, around there. Uh, yeah, so I've got to enjoy this while I can. Uh, I might have like one or two that I did like a month ago that I haven't posted that were deck beer shows, but I don't think it'll be that many more of them. Anyway, today we are looking at a beer that uh, my girlfriend Catherine has proclaimed to be her favorite beer of all time. All time. This is this is her favorite beer ever. And what is it? It's the worst. It is the worst with a U, not an O, as in bratwurst. As in this is a sauerkraut and mustard lager. That's right. We first tried this at the Winnipeg Beer Festival uh back in august there was dill in it then as well but apparently dill didn't survive the cut for the uh, canning of this beer uh but we're really excited to try this well i mean i've tried it i've had it before i'm excited to have it again it's a beer that uh drinks like a meal here we go Look at that. It kind of looks like your regular lager, really. I'm gonna pour out a second one here because Catherine is just off camera wondering where the hell is my favorite beer ever? And I've got it here for her. All right. Now, look at that. That is a little cloudy, a little cloudier than your average lager. Uh, not a ton of head on it. Um, yeah, but for the most part, if you saw this in there, you'd think it'd probably be like your average kind of lager. Bring it up to the nose. Definitely getting the mustard. I don't have necessarily get the sauerkraut on the nose, but I know it's in there. I know it's in here. Um, strong mustard uh, aromas. Let's go in for a taste. You would have told me before August, mustard sauerkraut beer. When I read it, when I first read that this was a thing, I, I thought, well, I'll try it, it'll be a novelty, and I'll never have it again. This is really good. Uh, yeah, it is exactly as advertised. It is, like, you can taste the sauerkraut, you can taste the mustard, um, but it works as a beer. Um, I made the mistake when we picked up these cans a few weeks ago, and I think I did a, a YouTube short that day when we were picking them up, uh, we went back to the barbecue that evening that they had, and I had this with some bratwurst. I made the mistake of putting sauerkraut and mustard on my bratwurst, because <laughs> that was a little bit of sauerkraut and mustard overkill for me. Uh, I think just a plain bratwurst, a plain hot dog, I don't know, a piece of meat. We had it with uh, poutine at the Winnipeg Beer Festival, and it rocked. So, yeah, this is a great beer, and it's nice and cold right now. I think it's one that works even as it warms up a bit, too, but nice and cold. Uh, yeah, this is actually... I never thought I would say the word refreshing to describe a sauerkraut mustard beer, but right now it is. We also just finished a lot of yard work and that kind of thing, so... I just really needed a beer, so maybe that's where the refreshing part comes in. I don't know. But this is really good. Uh, I don't know if this is something that... Uh, oh, I never even mentioned what brewery it was. Wow, I'm really off my game today. It's the Barnhammer Brewing Company from right here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, it is 4.5% alcohol. Doesn't say anything about the IBUs, but I think I'm pretty light on that. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really nice beer. Uh, so yeah, if you live in Winnipeg and want to check out something a little different, Go to Barnhammer and try yourself the worst. All right, cheers, my friend. Again, I'm tired and I need to go home.